Hey guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604, and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. For the first time, I am running Pure 2.0. Pure, for those not aware, is basically a uh, weather tool for Assetto Corsa. Assetto Corsa, by default, does not have uh, very good weather options. So, a bunch of very talented modders over the years have made things possible in this title um, that Kunos never foresaw being needed, I suppose, or weren't able to complete during the main development phase of Assetto Corsa. And among those was Pure and its predecessor, Saul. Whoops. Leaving that Lambo behind there. And Saul has now entered, excuse me, Pure has now entered version 2.0. So it works like so many other things in Assetto Corsa with the custom shaders patch uh, to give scenes like this, which I think is pretty darn gorgeous. I think uh, Peter Bowes, the genius behind Pure, has done a really, really nice job. And in my opinion, Assetto Corsa has never looked better. This is a pretty stunning look. And by the way, I've just got it defaulted. I know people... Uh, have made videos uh, about Pure 2.0 that look much better than this. Um, I'm just running default for now, so I'll probably do some research, get some better settings. But for right now, I'm very, very happy. Even on default, with the Pure Linear Post-Processing Filter that I'm running here, I think it's really nice. I think it looks pretty gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I've just been enjoying myself doing some driving in Assetto Corsa, which, again, I think looks better than it ever has. Whoops. My driving has looked better at times, but uh, yeah, I think just the enjoyment here at Donington of, you know, being this immersed in a game that looks this beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's a new high graphically, in my opinion, for Assetto Corsa. Um, and again, I'm just running default. So there's going to be people a lot more talented than myself and a lot more artistically inclined than myself who are going to make this look even better. But for now, pretty darn stunning pretty impressive so you will need to pay if you want to try pure 2.0 uh, you will need to subscribe to the Peter Bowes patreon and you will need the paid version of the custom shaders patch to take full advantage of things like wet weather but um, yeah in my opinion worth it if you're a big set of course a fan like me um, and you know want to experience yeah. The uh, LCS version, there's Gamma and there's LCS, and uh, it's sort of been finished here in the 2.0 version. So what you're seeing is the sort of, um, I, I wouldn't say end product, but um, yeah, the result of a long, long road of development for these uh, this LCS, including those beautiful new skies, which I think look stunning. And, uh, yeah, just better light propagation overall, from what I can tell. Giving it more of a realistic look. You can find artifacts here and there. And I do find sometimes I boot into game uh, with Pure 2.0 and there's just no clouds. Just a perfectly clear sky, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, but broadly, I mean, I would say uh, all parties involved have absolutely nailed this and made a set of course more enjoyable than ever. So I have no idea why, I, pardon me, frog in my throat there. I have no idea where I'm at in terms of this race, but I would like to get by these three competitors. Sorry. And uh, I don't know if that'll be good enough for first place. What position am I in? I can't tell. I could turn on my overlay, I suppose, and check, but I don't really care. I'm just enjoying the feeling of driving with that beautiful sun beating down. By the way, you can see how much it affects the sort of perceived brightness. Whoa, look at this. The rare triple overtake. Nailed the braking zone. And it worked out really well for me. But yeah, sort of the perceived brightness, uh, whether you're facing toward or away from the sun, is, uh, is a nice effect. And you can see how that affects the windshield as well. So yeah, it's just really nice work. I really love this. And there are, are wet weather options as well. I'm considering doing something, but I'm not sure if I'll have time. 
Maybe you'll see some wet weather driving, who knows. So I just cannot seem to get by these two Audis, these front running Audis. I assume it's front running. It might be a car off in the distance, who knows. I haven't seen anyone, that doesn't mean they're not there though. But yeah, hard to deny how gorgeous a Settle Corsa can look at its best. And we talk about this all the time, but uh, fully 10 years after public release, this, this sim just seems to get stronger. Player base keeps going up and, you know, the amount of available cars and tracks seems endless at this point. And um, yeah, just so many ways to enjoy a Settle Corsa. And now you can enjoy it with a little bit more of uh, a stylized look realistic I would say oh by the way I should mention uh, this LCS setting that I have here with the pure linear uh, it seems to kind of highlight some of the older car models like if you're running uh, some of the original Kunos models from 2014 or something like that oops I do not want pit limiter what did I press Oh no, there we go, <laughs> couldn't have gone worse. Um, yeah, if you're running, oh, I'm running lap five of 10. Okay, sorry, I thought that was position. All right, I'm all out of sorts here. If you're running older cars in a Settle Corsa, it might look a little funny with LCS. The uh, surfaces on, on the car, on the exterior of the car, just don't look nearly as good as do the newer mods. That's why I'm running these modern GT3s here. Uh, they just look way, way better. Um, I was doing this or video originally with um, like some hypercars and uh, Kunos developed supercars and things like that. And uh, I just couldn't get past the look of some of the cars. Now, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's a personal experience I've had that nobody else would have. But uh, for what I've learned thus far, uh, go with newer mods, high quality mods, and uh, it's going to look that much better. Unsurprisingly, when you think about it. Alright, so we're back on the tail of this BMW. We'll see if uh, we can catch them through the... Is it the Craner curves? Do I have that right? Try and carry as much speed through there as possible. Because I think at the bottom of the hill, I tend to be a bit faster than the AI. So we might be able to catch them. Going into that right-hand kink. And yeah, there's that weird box off in the distance. From the, uh... Whoa! Whoa! From the steam stacks, the factory steam stacks. I'm not sure what's causing that weird box effect around those, but it does look a little goofy. Come on, Mike. Let's go. Let's push. And this Mercer continues to impress me. One of my favorite all time cars, the Inaceto Corsa. Based on the Mercedes AMG GT3 2020. Some call it Evo, some do not. I don't. I call it the 2020. Got a problem with that? All right, we're getting closer to this BMW, but not by much. We have to find some speed somewhere. But yeah, just stunning at times. It looks so good. I don't know what uh, YouTube will do to it. Hopefully nothing. But it's possible this won't look as sharp in a YouTube video. But I highly recommend it. If you've got a few bucks to throw into a monthly subscription. Which of course can be cancelled at any time. I do recommend that you go with the latest CSP and, uh, and Pure. I resisted for a long time on CSP because of reasons. But, um, yeah, I went back to it and just in time. 
I've only been back for like a month probably, but uh, yeah, just in time for Pure 2.0, and I'm glad I did because this is working out beautifully for me. I still play a ton of Assetto Corsa. It's still my most played sim. And uh, yeah, like I've said probably about 10 times already, this is just another way to enjoy it that little bit more. Oh. Overshot that. It's okay, didn't lose too, too much time. But we are on for a PB here. So yeah, the amount of settings available in that pure config app feels like a <laughs> bottomless pit. Like there's just so much you can tweak and I'm sure each, you know, kind of plays off itself or plays off the other settings to some degree. So yeah, you could tinker this endlessly. Good thing is you can import settings. So if somebody has killer settings, um, hopefully they would share it on Overtake or something like that and uh, help the rest of us inexperienced, unartistic folk, or less artistic folk, let's say that. Uh, get things dialed in. But for right now, I'm happy. I could run this graphics level all day. The performance is really great in LCS, by the way. Uh, I did want to point that out. And, uh, you know, running a 4070 Ti and 5900X uh, processor, I've got a reasonably competent PC, so I'm not saying this will run on every machine, uh, but my FPS seems to have leveled out nicely, so it's performing really well. Typically, that's not the case. Well, I shouldn't say it's not the case, but often it's not the case. Often when we get bumps in graphics or you know new pro post-processing filters that bring us closer to reality, the trade-off is performance, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, here with the uh, pure 2.0 LCS with again pure linear post-processing filter and are these the cars I was chasing before I do believe they are so I'm right back where I was prior to the incident or close to anyway I might be able to catch them by the end of the race we got this lap plus one more lap So maybe it's for the best that uh, my pit limiter button got bumped because it made for an actual decent race chasing down this pack again. And one of these times, I'm going to come into the chicane. or this little S section here. And the timing's going to be perfect for a screenshot. That might be it right here, we'll see. I think that might have been it. Looks gorgeous with the sun in the background. Hold on to it, Mike, let's get around there. All right, so one more overtake done. That's good. As we come into the final lap here, but I hope you guys get the picture. Sorry, that was a bad pun. Hope you guys get the point. Pure 2.0 looks gorgeous. And I'm really just scratching the surface here. So many settings that I could tinker with. Um, you know, you can experiment with gamma as opposed to LCS. Some people say the gamma looks better. Um, yeah, and I'm sure there will be lots of post-processing filters built around LCS. So we're really probably just at the start of what Pure 2.0 will look like. But uh, again, I'm very happy thus far with how it looks. And uh, lots more to come, I'm sure. And I'm pushing, trying to catch up to these guys, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. However, I may get a second shot at this screenshot. Actually, I won't be quite close enough. We'll see. Plus, it looks kind of goofy having two Audis in a row like that. 
Oh, we're so close. One more lap, I would have been able to overtake these guys. But I'm going for it just the same. I don't think I'll be able to hold on to this. Looking in the mirror. Oh, I got him. So what position will I end up? I don't know. I don't know if that's first place or not. But it looks like I'm on for a PB on the final lap. So what a way to finish the race. Yeah, first, right on. All right, Pure 2.0, let me know your thoughts on the graphics. Do you have any settings you can share? Uh, let me know where I can find them. Thanks so much for watching.